Welcome to Sports Trades. My name is Lou, and we just had groundbreaking news in the NBA today. The Los Angeles Lakers and the New Orleans Pelicans have agreed in a trade where Anthony Davis will be shipped in exchange for Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart, and three first round draft picks, including the fourth overall selection in the 2019 NBA draft. My first initial thoughts are wow, as a Celtics fan, this hurts. And if you're a Knicks fan, this sucks more because now you can't even get anybody. Maybe you get Kyrie. Well, that's not happening. He's staying with the Celtics. Kevin Durant's out for 2019. Klay Thompson just got hurt. So I really hope you look forward to having RJ Barrett, Knicks fans. Now for the New Orleans Pelicans, they absolutely fleeced, robbed the Los Angeles Lakers. So you mean to tell me a guy that only has one year left on his contract, granted he's going to resign with the Lakers, that he wouldn't have demanded all this hoopla if he wasn't going to stay with the Lakers. They get former number two overall picks in Lonzo Ball and Brandon Ingram. Granted, hopefully, you know, Brandon Ingram's blood clots, you know, they aren't as serious as once reportedly thought. Josh Hart, a solid, you know, shooting guard and three first round draft picks being one of them, the number four overall pick. So the New Orleans Pelicans can literally fast forward into their rebuild now that they have the number one overall pick and the number four overall pick in which they're going to get Zion and whoever they like, you know, with the other one. And then they also have, you know, two lottery picks, former lottery picks with Lonzo Ball and Ingram that I really, really like. And and I really like the job that David Griffin did with the Cleveland Cavaliers in bringing them their first championship in franchise history. And I feel confident that David Griffin knows what he's doing. You know, a lot of people are going to say that this is an even trade or that the Lakers, you know, were able to trade whatever and they got their guy to pair up with LeBron. But here's the thing, LeBron only has maybe two or three absolutely, you know, dominant years left. And obviously, if the Lakers won the championship, you know, everyone's going to say that the Lakers won the trade. But the Pelicans, this is about the future. This isn't about right now. Because Lonzo Ball and Brandon Ingram, they still need time to develop, you know. The Lakers gave up on them way too quickly, just like Magic gave up on D'Angelo Russell way too quickly. And maybe they have enough room to get another free agent, a big time free agent, you know, on June 30th, whether it be Kemba Walker, Jimmy Butler, again, Kyrie's not coming, he's staying with the Celtics, and Zion Williamson will be in contention to have an actual team built around him, unlike Anthony Davis, unlike LeBron in his first stint in Cleveland, and will be able to contend for the playoffs three years from now and maybe hopefully win championships. New Orleans Pelicans fans, who may be upset that Anthony Davis, you know, wanted out. Why are you mad? You are going to be in prime position years from now, and you will be contending for championships, conference finals runs for the next decade afterwards. And let's not forget, because of a weird Ted Stepien rule that the NBA adopted a long time ago, you can't trade draft picks in consecutive years. So obviously the 2019 pick is probably just going to be the draft rights to whatever player the Lakers select for the Pelicans and then maybe protections on the 2020 pick, but you can't trade the 2021 pick, so it's gonna be 2020 and 2022. Granted, by 2022, LeBron's probably gonna be on the decline, he's not gonna be as good of a player, and you're just gonna be relying on Anthony Davis, and if you get another free agent, then it's probably just gonna be, you know, a 25 to 30 pick, but that last of the third pick could easily be lottery or even a top five pick, depending on the decline of LeBron. Obviously, Anthony Davis is going to be entering his absolute prime, so it might balance it all out, and Anthony Davis will take the torch from LeBron. But there also could be that possibility that AD just goes full out to White Howard mode and just leaves the Lakers after one year, so that the entire trade package is just absolutely worthless if they don't even make it past you know the second round. Not that I think that's going to happen, because, like I said, I think Anthony Davis wanted to be a Laker. And it's also interesting to see that the Boston Celtics were not interested at all in including Jason Tatum in any deals for what would have been a one-year rental, according to Rich Paul. So I'm really proud of the Celtics for wanting to hold on to Tatum and see how he develops from here. So just to overall recap, the Lakers just got better for right now. But in the long run, I feel like the Pelicans have fleeced the Los Angeles Lakers. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'd like to know all your thoughts about how everything has gone down the past 24 hours. Until next time, I'm Lou from Sports Trades. Peace out.